forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. What was it again? Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. Thank you very much. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Ah, after my own heart. I've had a lifetime of it, believe it or not. If you're sticking around in Eastshade, Maybe I'll tell you all about it sometime. Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. I've never been to East Shed. I've heard wonderful things about it. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? I've heard that since gone out of style. Quite a strange fashion fad if you ask me. As long as Ishe doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be landing in. It's one of the many gems of the country I hear. Almost there. Oh, that did not sound good.
You've woken. Are you feeling okay? Do you remember what happened? I'm glad your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. From what I've heard, you were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. The others are safe in town. East Shade, of course. Specifically, my home. I usually don't take visitors, but in this case I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Only your resort. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. It must mean a great deal to you. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. On your way, though. A newcomer. In the future, if you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. My ox is strong, no? Oh, it's you! You're on the ship! to you. Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. What brought you to Eshade anyway? A traveling artist. That's wonderful. I came to visit my family. 
You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Our captain is in a terrible state. I suppose that's to be expected. She won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. You should speak with her. I lost most of my possessions too. And nothing has washed up. My family lives here in Lindo, so I'll be staying with them. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. You'll be comfortable there. It gets cold around here at night. You shouldn't be out without a proper coat. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. Are you wondering about anything else? After all, I know where some boards are. Follow me. Did you see when it ran a reef? I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. And it went down so quickly. It's amazing anything. Now we just need the fabric. Find that. Maybe we should ask someone. Everything so you've we survived need now, too. right? We can make a it's canvas from this stuff? It's been lost at sea. Who? Only the most important one of us all, Annabelle! Doesn't sound... I see. She carries you across the oceans and you don't even learn her name. Annabelle! My ship! My wooden, sea-loving daughter! <sighs> Killed the damn griefs when we came into this miserable town. Kind of you to say so. But kindness does nothing to bring sweet Annabelle back to me. I imagine I'll be spending the rest of my days mourning Annabelle, sitting here, 
dreaming of a world where she wasn't destroyed and people actually remember her name? Off with you! Trade your life for hers. There's fabric all around us, just look. Or ask that dock worker over there. Oh, oh shit. Now leave me be. Could you paint something? I want to watch a real artist. She loves art so much. Hey, Miss Nika loves art like us. She always likes my paintings. I bet she'd like yours too. She really likes the eclipse. You should draw her that. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much though. I'm just glad you all made it. I work on the docks almost every day. If you ever have any questions about Lindau, come on over and I'll do my best to help. When I was a boy, merchants came to Lindau with strange fabric. You go through loads of it. Here. These lengths are defective for shipping, but will perhaps serve your purposes. My father was a fisher of these oceans, so I've been out on the sea plenty of times. Sea monsters. I feel so adventurous staying here in Lindo. I live in Nava, but sometimes I just long for the primitive lifestyle Lindo offers. How humorous you are! Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy paths, the unbearable heat. I even had to eat outside. Overall, it was a dreadful experience. But I braved through it all. Hmm. I'm guessing you're a bit inexperienced in travel safety. I so dearly wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. You must be the traveler from the wrecked ship. Oh good. Ingolf needs some visitors every now and then. I wish he would spend more time in town, but he'd rather be alone. Yes, I run the inn. 
I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary... When I was young, I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. Certainly. Who's there? Nika? Is that you? Well, I can tell by your voice that you're not Nika. You're being smart with me. You must be one of the tourists. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Glad you're okay. Yada, yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? I need help. It's stuck, obviously. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? It, uh, it, it happens. It's fairly normal, really. Doesn't it happen to you from time to time? Brilliant! I'll wait here. Uh. This time. Again? That's like the eighth time. All right, then, we'd better go help. Really stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty stuck. I think what we need here is some soap. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from Amin's house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Traveler? Soap? Well, certainly. May I ask why? He did. Hmm. Is he a friend of yours? Ah, well, I shouldn't gossip then. He's just such a peculiar man. And you know what? I think Lenny is going to have some real issues when he grows up. Well, you've seen him. The boy is unhinged. And not just that. I've been hearing a lot of yelling coming from that house. I think it's quite a broken home. You know, I imagine you'll be traveling all around this island, being a tourist and all. Perhaps when you get to Nova, you should let the sheriff know about Isan. I think it's only right, you know, for Lenny. Well, it's a small town. If word ever got back to Isan that I was the one that reported him, things might be a little awkward, being such a close neighbor and all. I 
I think it'd be best for the child. I only have his best interest at heart. Isan is not a stable man, and wholly unsuitable to be a parent. Here, this will help you with the toll. Right. Well, here's some soap. Safe travels. What do you expect me to do with yeah. You have the soap? Well, let's try this thing then. Here, let me have that soap. Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Thanks for getting Nika. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax! I mean? That nosy, stuck-up, goody, two-talon... Uh, if you had to deal with what I have to deal with... She just doesn't like me because I'm not posh like her. This whole town is stuck up. Them and all their judging eyes. You know what? Get out of my house. You're just like everyone else in this town. Coming in here and telling me I'm a bad father? Get out! I know that's what you meant. Just get out! Get out! Great viewpoint, isn't it? Look, the eclipse is starting. Not a bad show, right? <laughs> you couldn't get me out on the oceans for anything. And especially not in a rickety wooden ship. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. <laughs> Don't worry about payment. Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. Take care now.
like a good book on a day such as this. Actually, books are the perfect way to spend any day. Do you enjoy reading? I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps I can share my favorite books with you sometime. My favorite books are the ones that inspire me to write myself. How about you? I see. We creatives, me a writer, you a painter, we've got to stay inspired. Best way I've found is to drink many, many cups of tea. Always gives me a boost. Speaking of writing, if you find any feathers around here, I'd happily buy them. I'm constantly losing my quills. I figure three should do it. For now though, I must get back to reading. I think something fabulously dramatic is about to happen. Is there something else? Many of the folk from Old Lindau moved there after the mudslide. The library there is of a historic note. Is there something else? Hello there, newcomer, are you? Trying to get across the bridge, I guess. I hope you've got the glowstones for it. It's the rule is you pay once and you can use it as much as you'd like. I oh, may. I'm a fisher. I catch fish, I cook fish, I sell fish. You know. But mostly what I do here is fish. Sometimes I like to visit town, but not very often. What's all that you're carrying? Looks heavy. Are you some kind of painter? Hmm, you know what? Maybe there's a way you can get the ghost stones out of me after all. There's a gazebo in Lindau. Real pretty spot. Maybe you've been there. Anyway, I'd like a painting of that view. The gazebo is easy to find. It's just behind the inn. And I want the painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. It's the view, not the building, if you get my meaning. Some fish aren't biting today.
was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just at the path. On your way, though. Looky here, you've gone and painted the gazebo view. Are you willing to sell it? 
How about that? Got myself something fancy. See you round. Aha, my fellow bookworm. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully this is enough to last me a while. I do hate scouring the forest floor for these. If you find any more, I'll pay you one close to a piece. Is there something else? 